In this video, we are going to learn about poll watchers and the role they have in Iowa elections, including who poll watchers are, how poll watchers are appointed, letters of credentials, do's and don'ts, how to challenge voters, how many poll watchers are allowed. Okay, let's get started. Who are poll watchers? A poll watcher is a person who has official permission to be at the polling place on election day or in the room where absentee ballots are counted before the polls close. The following people cannot be poll watchers. A candidate for an office on the ballot, an incumbent office holder, a precinct election official working at the election. Poll watchers may also be called challenging committees or observers. Poll watchers acting as challengers must be registered voters in the county where the challenge occurs. Now, let's discuss appointing poll watchers. Poll watchers may be appointed by the following. Political party executive or central committees, non-party political organizations, candidates who are nominated by petition, groups opposing or supporting public measures on the ballot. One exception. Poll watchers for public measures are not allowed for primary and general elections. Poll watchers must provide written permission at the polling place or absentee precinct to show they have been appointed as poll watchers. Candidates nominated by petition and NPPO's appointing poll watchers may use the poll watcher designation form for this purpose. Political parties must provide credentials to observers and challengers, but the use of the official form is not required. Poll watchers representing groups opposing or supporting public measures must file the poll watcher designation form with the county auditor before election day. The auditor will appoint the poll watchers and notify them of the times they may serve. Next, let's review some important aspects of poll watchers. To be permitted in the polling place, poll watchers must provide a designation form to the precinct officials upon arrival to the polling place, showing which political party or organization appointed them. Poll watchers may observe, but not interfere with, the election process, examine signed declarations of eligibility slips or voter rosters, write down the names of people who have or have not voted, challenge a voter's qualifications, report perceived problems in the precinct to the county auditor. Poll watchers shall not interfere with the election process in any way, challenge a voter solely because the voter is registering to vote or changing address on election day, inspect documents produced by voters to establish identity, compare the signature on record to a signature on any document or ballot or ballot envelope, disenfranchise voters by encouraging challenged voters to cast provisional ballots in precincts where they do not live, engage in arguments with PEOs, voters, or other poll watchers, Interrupt, hinder, oppose, or talk to a voter while in or approaching the polling place to vote. Solicit votes for candidates or questions. Offer advice or literature to voters or solicit votes. Wear buttons, stickers, jewelry, or clothing of a political nature. Use polling place supplies. Challenging a voter's qualifications. Challenges must be made before a voter casts a ballot. The challenger must notify precinct election officials of intent to challenge a voter. Precinct election officials inform the voter of the challenge to their qualifications. Challenges containing false information are not legal. Blanket challenges are not legal. Challengers must complete and sign the challenger statement for each voter they challenge. With permission of the precinct officials, challengers may participate in the questioning of a voter to determine the voter's qualifications. If the voter can prove that they are qualified to vote in the precinct, the challenge may be withdrawn. Number of poll watchers. No more than three at a time from each political party. No more than one at a time from each non-party political organization. No more than one at a time for each non-partisan candidate. No more than three for public measures on the ballot, except for primary and general elections. Any person violating any of the above laws is guilty of election misconduct in the Third Degree Code of Iowa. To learn more about being a poll watcher in the state of Iowa, please visit our website and read the Poll Watcher Guidebook.